Today, we will discuss how to create a solid AOE team. With just a few days left in the rare era, we'll begin by building a team that can compete effectively in this phase. It is also important to observe that the rare era requires less capital for runes and charms than other eras, making it a good time to start. It's important to incorporate three different Axie classes to remain competitive in the epic era as well. I recommend having a bird, an aqua, and a mech, allowing for easy adaptation to the mystic era. However, it's worth noting that the meta axes in the mystic era differ slightly from those in the epic and rare eras due to the significance of potential points and cloud ability. Before we continue, let's take a moment to acknowledge the sponsor of this video, MyLunation Code, Xepros. Using MyLunation Code would mean a lot and greatly support the channel. Also, if you find yourself in need of assistance with team building, feel free to reach out to me on Discord or X, it's completely free of charge. Now let's delve into the cards. The must-have card is Winghorn, though in some cases, Trump, Kestrel or Oranda can be used for one of the axes. Personally, I prefer having three Winghorns. Considering the back cards, I suggest having at least two Trifeather cards with a Cupid, or simply three Trifeather cards. Since this serves as your main feather generation, having a minimum of two is crucial. The ears consist of ear wings for all the axes I play. Now, let's turn our attention to my bird, an axie that I believe stands as one of the strongest and versatile choices across all eras. It boasts a powerful combination of trifeather, ear wings, winghorn, kotaro, ranchu, and lucas. Lucas, an S-tier I card, plays a crucial role in this build, alongside other S-tier alternatives like Clear and Nerdy. If, for any reason, Lucas is unavailable, Kotaro Eyes can serve as a suitable substitute. Ranchu serves excellently as the tail, but you have flexibility here. Consider alternatives like Grandma's Fan, Nemo, Cottontail, or Cloud. For those on a budget, Shrimp is also a viable option. In the rare era, I recommend having a cottontail and at least one ranchu in your team. However, for the epic era, focus on Nemo and aim to have at least two of them. Moving on to the mouth, while Kotaro is considered the S tier, budget friendly alternatives such as Square Teeth, Double Talk, Hungry Bird, or Piranha can be easily substituted. Flexibility is key in optimizing your Axie team ensuring it aligns with your preferred playstyle and budget considerations. I'm currently utilizing Momo's Dagger, a rune that I consider a must-have for AoE teams. When it comes to charms, prioritizing the Feather Earwing on Trifeather is essential. Additionally, aim to incorporate as many Black Sages as possible into your setup. As of now, I've crafted only one, but in an ideal scenario with two available, I would place the additional Black Sage on Ranchu. Now let's shift our focus to the Aqua. It shares a similar card set with the bird, with the main difference being the eyes. While my preference leans towards clear or nerdy, currently the available option for me is Neo. Despite it not being my initial choice, I recognize Neo as a strong option, potentially even better than Kataro. This is due to its ability to discard, which can prove crucial in certain game scenarios. The rune of choice for my Aqua is obviously Bubble Shooter, as it deals lots of damage with it. When it comes to charms, the setup is quite similar with the only notable difference being the placement of Bubble Wand on Ranchu. This choice enhances my bubble generation, providing a more effective and efficient performance in battles. Moving on to my third Axie, which is a mech boasting a card set of Trifeather, Winghorn, Earwing, Kotaro, Confident and Cottontail. A key feature here is the inclusion of a confident mouth, which I find crucial given the prevalence of poison teams in the meta. This provides a solid solution for dealing with debuffs. Although I would ideally include two white sages, I haven't crafted any yet. Kotaro eyes play a significant role as they assist in handling sustained teams. The chosen rune is steel skin, serving as a hard counter against other AoE teams. If you have a pure power rune, it could be a viable alternative to Steel Skin 
and can be switched based on your available resources and strategy preferences. Now that I've introduced you to my team, let's dive into some gameplay accompanied by a bit of music. Don't forget to show your support by liking this video and subscribing to my channel for more exciting content on the way. Thanks a ton for tuning in. Until next time, happy battling. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me. It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better me. Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything. You can mold, shape, find almost anything All it takes is some time and some clarity To find your identity, it's mind over everything I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find almost anything All it takes is some time some clarity to find your identity It's mind over everything
place while he's looking back Mirror breaks after math when I hate I attack